my topic is all about hierarchical task analysis or HTA model. It includes introduction, steps, benefits, and examples. So let's see how this model will be worked. My course outline. First, I discuss hierarchical task analysis. Second, the HTA steps of execution. Next, the benefits of HTA. And lastly, I will give an example using of this HTA model. So, what is hierarchical task analysis? It is the important model in human computer interaction or HCA phase. So, hierarchical task analysis has been in use for a long time since the 1960s or even earlier. So, si HTA kasi ginagamit siya for describing a conditions of the subtask to be performed. Kaya, nasabi siya na has been in use for a long time. So, hierarchical task analysis or HTA provides an understanding of the steps taken by users to achieve a certain goal. Or, for what we are going to do is to well defined or clear with a specific criteria to accomplishment of your goal. So, it is structured objective approach in which we have to break down a task in a subtask. So, the HTA have only main task that it will be divided into subtask para maging well structured siya into the subtask format or what a human being does to make the system approach to the goal. So, the HTA din daw is a method of task decomposition. So, like what I said, it is the means of decomposition means it's divided into break or into smaller parts. So, must well nested siya, well explain kung how to reach your certain goal. HTA steps of execution. First, define task being analyzed. So, first you need to do is to define task to know its purpose. Second, conduct data collection. It means you need to collect data at its purpose under particular areas. For example, um, for technology, machine, or decision making for the particular process. So, you need to giving particular attention to areas to better understand the process. Number three, determine the overall goal of the task. It is the top of the task. So it means the overall goal is placed at the top of your overall subtask. So when you say it is ito yung tinatawag na main goal mo para ma-create mo yung task decomposition to be, to be well defined, well structured or to be main specific purpose. After that, let's proceed to the number 4 for determine task sub goals. It is the overall into corresponding sub goals and next steps is to perform sub goal decomposition so which specifies the action that actually needs to be done to accomplish the goal so continuous lang to ng pag process until you reach an appropriate operation so naka specify doon yung mga actual needs para ma accomplish mo yung goal o yung target mo dun sa task or sa system mo and next lastly develop plans analysis so, plans explain how a goal should be accomplished. This may be in the format do A, then do B, then do C. Or do A, or do B, and do C. So, after doing all the five steps, and follow this format. So, if we want it to be more precise, so mag-conclude tayo ng plans, maraming plans, we could produce more plans to more specific relevant to your life purpose so para mas maging achievable siya or to make um, possible to achieve to achieve your main task 
And for the benefits of HDA, number one, it is objectively compare different approaches to the supporting same task. So it is support every domain. We will use this kind of HDN model. So it is will be better understand for how a system works because HDA enables effective UX design reuse and it provides critical path analysis and it is the extensive information about the task. So, we create to ng main task into more expansion of information to get your must be clear and defined to achieve your goals and to set attainable and readable into your objectives. And the number six, multiple implementations of design patterns. So CHTA is lets you capture those patterns to identify its design. So we nagamitan siya ng patterns or this, let me see the structure to clearly explain the design or the output. So seven, helpful in error analysis. So, sinabi siyang helpful kasi yung task na yun, it will be divided into subtasks for clearly or well explain the two best comprehensive task descriptions. So, number nine. Oh, number eight. Visibility or functional requirements. And number nine. Create an output and measure learnability. And lastly, formatting hypothesis for solving problems. So, nag-provide siya ng particular hypothesis to solve the particular problems. So, here are the HTA structure chart notation for the format for the sequence, selection, iteration, and unit tasks. So, I will give an example here using a make a cup of tea. So, consider an example task hierarchy. So, for this example, for those who don't know how to make the tea, and they will come to know more process and what exactly happening in terms of how to make a cup of tea. So, first steps, you need to know your main task. So, the main task I consider for these examples is to make a cup of tea. So, as you can see in the image and I have the HTA model and the list of HTA. So, for the main task is make a cup of tea is decomposed into six sub-tasks. So, first from plan 1 to plan 6. So, it depends on your main task on how many sub-tasks you are going to create. So, for plan 0, the main task is to tap most of your decision and that will be considered into six sub stocks for plan one for plan six is the process of making the cup of tea and for the plan one as you can see will again divided into more sub tasks on how to boil the water for what purpose you have to fill the first plan 1.1 is to fill kettle plan 1.2 put kettle on hub and plan 1.3 wait for kettle to boil and plan 1.4 turn up gas so this plan 1 has when kettle boils and for plan 2 for empty pot plan 3 put tea leaves in pot plan 4 pour boiling water plan 5 wait for or 5 minutes and plan 6 for pour tea so this plan is for making a hda model in textual notation for as you can see in the right side for making a cup of tea so for refinement it is the we describe this plan in words or use a simple diagram for formal method of describing the plans so this plan for pouring tea which is more a structure to generate tasks or make a pot to balance is poor tea simpler than make pot or general generalize make one cup or more so for addition for adding the sugar has been expanded to include asking the, the guests whether or not sugar is required so also note 
note that the main goal has been altered from make a cup for only one and all for more to make the cups of tea. So check, we will check to how to improve the initial HTA. And for the refined HTA for making tea, so this is the expansion of task description. The analysis will be probably expand all the subtasks to take a larger view. So for the plan one, it is expand to the more plans or subtasks and also the plan three and five explaining how such actions are performed is unlikely to be either accurate or useful. For the plan 5, it is important that I will discuss the for making more than one of making a cup of tea, so which directly relevant to be intended purpose. So, this is for the ask, asking questions for the guests if they wanted to add sugars or add sugar to taste to fill the cup with tea. So, it is all the possible exception to this would be if we were planning to build a decision support system in which case to be defined to understand the someone thought about the problem in order to build tools to help and this is all the based on the observation your main task will be decomposed or divided into these subtasks or will be more expanded to support your details or your information you need to be in your system and this will be hierarchical form from in structural to write down various tasks and its subtasks so all the process your main goal have been successfully achieved thank you for listening i hope you learned something about the hta model